what Nigerians cannot do does not exist. Hey, wait till Nigerians no go feed do. You no go see him. My guy at the tell now. You understand? This video. <laughs> Calm down. This video. This video has its flowers, has its. Ah, I don't even think I have the strength to explain what has just happened because this video is mind blowing, it's shocking, and it's incredible. You understand? So, Ghanaians, South Africans, and Africans, Europeans, whoever, who are busy shouting, let Nigerians go back to their country as you are busy attacking them. Nigerians now want to start growing Nigerian food in space. You understand? Yes. I remember I told you guys that anywhere you go in this world and you didn't find a Nigerian, leave. Hmm? Because nothing did yet. So, now that people are trying to make space, a being a moon or whatever, they want to make it livable, habitable. So you think Nigerians will not be there? Eh? If there's life out of space, if there's going to be a life, people are going to live out of space or on the moon or on, in Mars, whatever, wherever, Mars, whatever. God, Nigerians will be among the first people to live there. They will definitely be among the first people to establish homes, establish culture, establish themselves there. You know how I know it? Because Nigerians don't do wonderful things again. Just a few weeks ago, we talked about one Nigerian who led an American astronaut team to outer space. You understand? And we were like, why would a Nigerian be going there? How will America sit down and allow an, an, a Nigerian to lead them to space? What is so special about that Nigeria? Well, guys, the one I want to share with you now is far more special than that one because he did not just lead the crew. He did not just lead Americans to space. He did not just lead the team to space, but he made sure he carried part of Nigeria to space. So as I'm talking to you now, Part of Nigeria is officially in space already. They are already preparing a place for Nigerians in space. Those who will come there, live like Nigerians, eat like Nigerians, dance like Nigerians, and flex like Nigerians. There's already a space for you guys over there in space. Just waiting. Anybody where they ready, go to follow the go. <laughs> no play. That's why I say this news go loud. So, let me take it gradually so that you people will understand where we are going. There's a Nigerian scientist. Yes. Let me get his name so that I respect him and give us his, his name so that everybody we, we you know we, 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 we hail him. His name is Dr. Onyoson. Onyoson Dr. Onyoson Temidayo. Dr. Temidayo Onyoson. So this guy is the president of African Space. He's the founder and president. He's the one that created a group of Africans. He's the founder and managing director of space in Africa. Yes, he's the one that has given Africans the platform to study about space, visit space, whatever Africans can do in space. This Nigerian is the one that started it. But this guy has shocked the entire world. Because this guy decided that he's not just going to go to space. Nigeria will not just visit space. But he said he was going to take Nigerian food to go and grow them in the outer space. I think it's on Mars or whatever. So, he has taken Nigerian food to out of space. We are busy saying Nigeria. See, black Americans are busy saying let us stop eating Nigerian food. Let us boycott African food. Nigeria is taking the food to space. Oh. <laughs> this Nigeria is not going to buy me. <laughs> People say they don't want to eat with our food. People say, leave this our country. And I say, no. Now, we, you since you don't want us on this planet, we will go to out of space and we are going with our food. <laughs> eh? This is mad. This one, jam. So, our brother is taking Nigeria a goosey to go and start planting it in space. Planting it in space. I don't understand. I understand. I don't even know if guys understand how massive this is. The magnitude of this news. It is, it is overwhelming. You understand? Like, like serious right now. I don't even know if there's anybody growing anything in space. Is there food there? Are they planting anything there? 
But Nigeria is already having that courage and that audacity to say, we are taking our food to space. Nigerian food will be planted in space. So they were going to take either Ogbono or Egusi. Ogbono. I believe all of us know it to be Ogbono. Almost every part of Nigeria eats a goosey. Another way you can say you are a Nigerian is say I eat a goosey. Once you say I they chop a goosey, they know say you be Nigerian. You understand? Because even Afro beats now, though, everybody don't call it them. But a goosey, that's Nigeria identity. When you hear people say I'm eating Nigeria food, a goosey. A goosey and fufu. So a goosey is deeply rooted in Nigeria identity. It is a dish everyone connects to says onion son both yoruba and the Igbo communities they claim is their own and it's not just nigeria because now you will see some Ghanaians, some cameroonians will come here and tell you oh a goosey is not nigerian food we have it in cameroon we have it in the ghana we have it here and there when i carry and go space when i get on a carry and go space yeah yeah people so now that a goosey is one of those identical food that everybody in Nigeria, even other Africans can easily relate to. That's why they said, no, let us carry this egusi because it is a symbol of Nigeria beyond the earth. It is a symbol that we represent almost every Nigerian from every ethnicity, from every culture. So a big win for Nigeria as egusi becomes a first local seed sent to out of space. The first local seed sent to out of space and this is not done by just anybody this is done by nasa as a matter of fact nasa is the one that picked a goosey over obono nasa is the one that did the choice you know we go carry a goosey go maybe because a goosey is easier a goosey can resist it comes in a well uh, protected uh, uh, you know cover and a goosey has so many advantages it can last in different kinds of weather different kind of temperatures and so they have decided to go and plant it in out of space so very soon now nigeria is going to produce a goosey in out of space you eat a goosey that is from out of space or nigerians who are planning to go stay out of space for study they will have a goosey that they can eat yes they'll have what they can identify with as nigerian food as african food probably i believe that there are already other things happening there because for Nigerians to say we need to bring our own and plant, it means so many things are happening in the out of space. Maybe people are living there already, we don't know. Because all these Elon Musk and these American politicians, all these big people, all these big gates, big gates suddenly say, I want to give out all my money. I want to where you want to give the money go to. You are giving the money to go to where. So there is something about this out of space that we are not aware. Probably there's already life existing over there. People are already flexing over there. People are already planting things over there. And I'm just happy that Nigeria has joined them. Nigeria is already officially part of the countries that are represented in out of space. And this is happening so fast. So fast. So the project will be successful if the Egusi seed can survive and adapt in microgravity a near weightlessness environment in space that allows scientists to study how biological systems function without earth gravity so that's the details about the research they are currently working on it mm? so basically you know there's no gravity up there or oh, the gravity there is not as this one that can hold the roots to the ground so they have to study and see how biological uh, plants will survive and you know grow in those kind of environments so this is something that is trending already so many news platforms are talking about this so many people are celebrating this because it's one of those things that gives Africa not just Nigeria a lot of joy makes Africans proud makes Africans know that we Africans we are not being left behind when the world is moving ahead in science when the world is moving ahead in tech when the world is moving ahead with research Africa is not left behind Africa is part of the innovation. Tomorrow now, the Nogo Council say Africans people were doing nothing while we were working hard. No, Africa is part of it. And Nigeria, Nigeria is leading Africa for that greatness. So make all my African brothers and sisters, they learn 
to respect these Nigerians for all they are doing for this our beautiful continent. It is what it is. Your boy Joe Max on this one again. Smash the like button, smash the notification bell. Of course, there's always more videos for you and I. Make we go chop a goosey for space. God bless y'all. Cheese.